Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Art Patient. Thank you for joining me. New subscribers, thank you very much. Um, in this episode we are going to talk about fermented fish oils and actually how the fermentation process affects uh, fat soluble vitamins A and D and why this is important and how they actually morph into activate or X. Conducting groundbreaking research, Dr. Weston Price had isolated a set of nutrients he identified as cardinal nutrients essential to prosperous health, with one main vitamin-like compound being the proponent of other nutrients. Price referred to this then unnamed fat-soluble vitamin compound as Activator X which he noted seemed to be responsible for normal bone formation and growth, overall skeletal health, cognitive function, healthy cavity-free teeth, reproductive capabilities and protection against arterial calcification. We are all familiar with the term the X Factor. Activator X was the proverbial X factor of nutrients, a supernutrient that enabled other vitamins acting as the magic compound that empowered a person's internal system to demonstrate supreme health. As time passed along with the passing of Dr. Weston Price in 1948, his work was largely ignored and fell out of print and into obscurity for almost 60 years until modern lab researchers finally were able to pinpoint the existence of a fat soluble vitamin that enables proper use by the body of various other nutrients. The same fat soluble vitamin that Dr. Price had discovered 60 years earlier yet had never officially been named, instead of calling it Activator X, Activator X, his official name is Vitamin K2. Mention Vitamin K1. Vitamin K1 comes from anything green that's grown in the ground, guys. Um, broccoli, cruciferous vegetables, spinach, kale, and my favourite dandelions all contain high amounts of vitamin K1, not to be confused with vitamin K2, as vitamin K1 is a coagulant of blood and stops you bleeding from to death from the minimum of cuts. Okay, moving on to um, valuable sources of vitamin K2 are dairy animals. The problem you've got with dairy animals these days, they're all industrialised and they're full of antibiotics. Now antibiotics, as you know, and as I keep saying on this channel, kill bacteria. And we need bacteria, like in fermented fish, we need bacteria to bring about vitamin K2 and make it active. That's how it becomes active. And like I've said, with animals these days, unless they're from a source that you know is organic and raw, like the raw milk I use contains K2, it's doubtful whether there's any K2 left due to all the drug abuse that the animals undertake, all in the name of vast amounts of profit for said farmer. Skate oil is three to four times more powerful than cod liver oil. And not all cod liver oils are the same. You will notice um, in some of the uh, video footage, I have added some cheap capsules of cod liver oil just to tell you guys that beware because all cod liver oil manufacturers 
are not the same. The product in the video is Green Pastures Blue Ice and they have an excellent reputation. Their skate liver oil is three to four times more powerful than a cod liver oil. The cod liver oil that you're buying in capsules in the ice street is watered down with fish oils which is not the same thing. Fermenting cod liver oil makes it absolutely spectacular. It's the most powerful cod liver oil you can ever buy. So it's a great anti-inflammatory and lovely for your joints, particularly if you're participating in physical exercise. Okay, um, so when you ferment the oil and you've got vitamin A present, guys, and vitamin D present, which is activator X. Now, K2 or activator X acts completely different from taking um, fat soluble vitamins A or D if you take them normally and that's the whole that was the whole story of the Western A price story see when he found this out the idea that you could you needed the bacteria to bring this about so what does activator X or K2 actually do that the vitamin A and vitamin D d would not do normally under normal circumstances. Well, it pulls excess calcium out of the arteries. And this is how I got into this one because when I first heard that there was a way I could pull atheroma plaque apart, um, and everybody would love that without having surgery, wouldn't they? Unfortunately, that never happened to me. But um uh, if you can pull out the Roma plaque away from your arteries especially around the art that's just fantastic and also it takes it back to the bones and the teeth where it's needed